Hey guys and welcome back to another Roblox video. Today I got another banger for y'all. Not too long ago, I came up with the idea to not get one, not two, but three giant wheels and to spin for basically everything you would need to play a map. Like, have you ever been stuck in the lobby thinking to yourself, man what map do I play and what towers do I use? Well look no further, for today I'm going to show you how to solve that problem. Alright, so the first step is to spin what towers you're going to use. I'm joined here today by Paul, so I'm just going to be spinning for him as well. After that, you gotta spin for the map, and if you're lucky, you won't get something that will completely murder you. Now guys, I decided to just go for medium in this one, but after making it to the boss wave and losing it, we realized that if we can't even do a medium mode in this map, then this challenge is going to be harder than we thought. So from now on, we spin for the difficulty of each map, and if we can't beat it, then we have to end the challenge. Alright, after spinning for our decks, we were happy enough to find out Oddport Easy was the map to beat. I very literally just placed whatever towers I had along this path and just covered the thing in level 1s until I got bored. Hot Dog Frank was enough to carry the entire map up to the boss wave and I upgraded my towers after to kill the boss. So yeah, this map was easy. No challenge at all. More spinning! Oh. Yes! Yes! Alright, Desolate Desert on medium mode should definitely be possible, especially because we actually got good loadouts. Like I got Spectre, Sparks, Oddport, all that. Paul even had Stella. This map was hella enjoyable due to the fact that I had a proper deck. My placement is on point still and everything. The boss was a little scared but nah he didn't make a past. If I'm being honest with you, I think I could do this forever. I literally don't see myself losing. Alright, time to spin the wheel! <laughs> the deck looks alright to be fair. I can work with this. Time to see what map we get. <laughs> no, 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 no! Okay guys, this is bad. This is real bad. I need to use my cheat code for this one. I let an extra random dude join the map and we got to work for real. It was when I was reminded that you can't even send mana in this map, I knew it was over for us. I didn't even know what kind of strategy I was supposed to use for this early game. First run went absolutely horribly. You know what, this random dude is willing to retry, so why not retry? He didn't even question why our decks are so sh**. But yeah, no matter how much we tried, even when it was looking good, we just couldn't get past the early stages. I don't think our teammate was cooking with Volt either to be honest. Would you say wave 18 is decent enough? We tried again, I did my best defense okay, Paul was kind of just trying to level up his slime king, but we still died to wave 18. I have to be honest. I think the random guy who had the privilege of using whatever deck he wanted to sold the game. Because Paul Slime King was clutching hella, my Volca is an actual asset to this map. I could have leveled up Bite, but I thought the guy using Volt would have leveled them up so they can probably slow down the towers themselves. I don't know what's going on in this economy, but people are so desperate to make Volt useful. Like, it's just not happening. 
he will always make you lose.